Thanks for joining us for Denver 7 News at 10. I'm Jessica Porter. I'm Shannon Ogden and a political stunner tonight. Colorado Republican Congresswoman Laura Boebert is seeking a third term in Congress, but in another congressional district. Boebert is ditching the third district where she lives for the fourth on all the way on the other side of the state. District four is Republican Ken Buck's district, but he is not seeking reelection. So the fourth includes Douglas County, Loveland, way out in the Eastern Plains as well, a firmly Republican district that Trump easily won in 2020. District three includes Pueblo, Grand Junction, and much of the Western Slope. Denver 7's Claire Lavazorio live in the newsroom, breaking down with what's behind all this. Claire? Well, first, how is Lauren Boebert able to just switch congressional districts? That's a big question. Well, there is no requirement that a candidate for the U.S. House live in the district they are running for. They only need to live in the state they want to represent. That's according to the U.S. Constitution. Now, in a Facebook video tonight, Boebert announcing she would enter the crowned Republican primary vying for Ken Buck's seat. By switching to District 4, she avoids a likely rematch with Democratic opponent, opponent Adam Frisch, whom she narrowly defeated last time by a mere 546 votes. Frisch is running again and has far outraised her in this election cycle, according to voting records. Now, in the third district, Boebert was also facing a Republican primary challenger in Jeff Hurd, who has collected several high profile Republican endorsements. In tonight's video statement, Congresswoman Boebert implied her departure from the third district will help Republicans retain that seat. Take a listen. It's the right move for me personally, and it's the right decision for those who support our conservative movement. This is the right move for Colorado, for us. Since the first day I ran for public office, I promised I would do whatever it takes to stop the socialists and communists from taking over our country. That means staying in the fight, but it also means not allowing Hollywood elites and progressive money groups to buy the third district, a seat that they have no business owning. Now, she went on to say she is confident this move would allow Colorado to have stronger conservative representation in the U.S. House to help former President Trump enact an American first agenda coming up in 2025. The Colorado Democratic Party releasing a statement following Boebert's announcement tonight, which said in part the good people of the western and southern Colorado areas didn't wait for an election to beat Lauren Boebert. We scared her straight and chased her out of her own district. That was part of their statement that they released after this announcement. Now, Boebert says she plans to move to the fourth district next year, even though she is not required to do so. There has been no response yet from Ken Buck. I'm live in the newsroom tonight. Claire Lavazorio for Denver 7. All right, Claire. Now, as Claire mentioned there, Boebert narrowly defeated Democrat Adam Frisch in last year's election. Frisch is trying again and digging into the numbers here in this current election cycle. Frisch has significantly outraised Boebert. According to the FCC last quarter, Frisch brought in nearly $3.3 million. And in that same period, Boebert raised $854,000. And a scandal in September rocked some of even Boebert's most faithful supporters. A video surfaced of her misbehaving with a date during a performance of the musical Beetlejuice in Denver. Boebert and her date were kicked out of the theater for causing a disturbance, which included vaping. Boebert issued an apology, calling her behavior unacceptable.